this is Ebony. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge space. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. I work with these two for other ones. So, you just taking this part off. Let's see. It just comes off. And it could come, you could put it back on when you're ready to. Alright. So we need those two off so we could line them up together. Like that. Too bad they don't snap together, but that's good enough for us. You got to set up these. You want to put on your header right there at the beginning you want to leave four spaces so that's one two three four next one will go here one two three four the next one will go there first row okay. so get that part out one two three four two four and right there one Okay, so you should have four between each. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. We have a cross section, and we want to have seven spaces between each row. We're going to have four. Let me just concentrate on this. That's how your rows is going to look. Okay? Now when you get them all populated, you will have a grid. And just let me quickly get that grid done. That's that one. And here's where we're at when we get all of them lined up the way they're supposed to be lined up so we can start setting up what they call slices. Now this is in order to help you keep everything in order. We're working with the shorter legs now on these LEDs. The longer leg is going to be positioned at the bottom. And we're getting ready to solder the shorter legs. This is what's going to make up the frame of your cube. So what I do is there's a little flat part there. I take the pliers at that point and bend it off. That way I have a good reference. You want to bend it out to a ball here. You're going to put the LED in here. The leg is going to rest right there. Okay. You're going to do the same with the second one. So you're taking it at that little flat part right there, and you're bending it out, and you're laying it down.
the lead is not to be so let's do it like this the lead is not to be underneath the positive it's got to be at the top so you want to make sure your LED lead like now Want to sure it make sure it's kind of resting right there. We're gonna line it up a little bit better before we solder it. We want to make sure to keep the space between the negative and the positive. So bending it out and placing it. Like I said, the positive leg should be resting in between there. Okay, you don't want it sticking out like that, so you would just push it down for the moment. Try to get it somewhere to where it needs to be. Okay. We'll get it later. And then bending it off. And again, positioning it a little bit. Okay, so at this point, it shouldn't be too hard to get those soldered down. As you can see, they're all lined up. So I'm going to try to do this for the first row, and then I'm going to just get them all welded, well, on camera. So on camera so you can see what I'm doing okay and well the LEDs I mean soldering LEDs when I like this is not that hard you just gotta have patience. It don't take the leaves that long to heat up. So let's see. You wanna be kind of careful because you gotta remember this is on your breadboard. So you don't want solder to melt down on your breadboard. So go ahead and heat it up. Add your solder. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this off screen because it's a little difficult. It did catch though, but that's not, well, it didn't. I'm going to have to do this off screen. So I'm going to go ahead and get this welded up for the first row and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our first parts soldered together and, and like I said, it's good to be able to really look at what you're doing. That's why I had to take it off camera in order to do it because you want to keep these aligned really nicely. Once you get to this part now, you also have to solder the positive leg and the negative leg. So you're going to be doing quite a bit of arranging 
because you want to get the positive leg soldered before you solder the negative leg. In which you got to make sure that the positive leg is lined up with the positive leg on top of it. Okay. So arrange your positive leg so you could try to get a good solder on there. And then just solder it together first before you go for the, the shorter leg. I'm Ebony Geek and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.